Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Della, also known as Natural Ghana Girl. Um, today, I'm about to share with you something that is deeply personal to me. Um, yeah, it's um, a tough video for me to film for sure, but I felt that it was time. Um, some of you may already have guessed what this video is about, but yeah, it's very hard. You can see that I'm just like struggling with my words a little bit here. Okay, so I'm just gonna get to the point. Some of you may have noticed that um, I've been doing a lot of videos by myself. Um, you know, I was doing a lot of videos in the beginning that were very much about building, family life, that type of thing. And you'll notice that my content has kind of changed and there is a very good reason for that. The reason for that is myself and Kwame are no longer together. Okay, now this video is not a video to bash anybody or to lay blame or anything like that. I know you guys want to know all the tea and all the rest of it. Um, just please respect that obviously this is, it's a very sensitive time. Um, lots of you have been asking me in the comments, where is he, what's happening and all of that. Almost on every single video somebody asks. So I felt that it was only right for me to share. You guys have been with me from, some of you have been with me from the very beginning when I first came to Ghana and uploaded my first video. So I felt that it was only fair for me to kind of continue to share the journey, whether that be good or bad or whatever, okay? So this is real life. I'm a real human being um, with real feelings. And sometimes life just happens. And this is one of those occasions where life just happens, okay? So I'm not gonna go into too much, too much explanation as to what has actually gone on. Um, just know that we are not together. It's happened a few months ago now. I'm sure if you look back on the timeline, you can kind of see it for yourself anyway. But yeah, it's been emotional. It's been tough. Um, you know, any type of breakup for anybody is a lot to deal with because you're having to now sort of reevaluate your life, you know, which direction you're going in. There's a lot to think about, okay? So it's kind of like that, you know, two people are two people, they're two individuals, right? So people change, things change, situations happen. And so it's kind of very much been like that. And so we find ourselves here. Um, just so you guys know, obviously I'm still in Ghana, I'm still here, um, I have no intention of leaving Ghana, this is my home, um, the children are obviously with me, um, yeah. <laughs> I'm smiling, not because I find it funny, um, I'm one of these people, I smile when I'm kind of embarrassed, so I'm feeling a little bit, a little bit embarrassed here, um, yeah, so I've had a lot of raw emotions, um, I feel like I'm now kind of like getting myself together, which is why I've now decided to share with you guys. Um, yeah, so it's been tough. That's the reason why. Um, people change. And one of the things I have to say is that, you know, going through a breakup, when you tell people, when you start telling people, especially here in Ghana, Africa, the first thing people say is, you have to work it out. You have to work it out. And that's a quite an easy thing to say. Oh, you have to work it out. Work for it. Work through it. But it's not that easy, you know, here there are a lot of social pressures in terms of how people view things, you know, you know, people see marriages for life, which yes, it sh absolutely should be, and I 100% believe that. But sometimes there are differences which you just cannot overcome, and so sometimes you have to be able to part ways. But being here in Ghana, yeah, there's a lot of pressure to say, stick it out, stick it out. The few people that I've told, it has been like, stick it out, stick it out, you know, on both parts, so. It's hard, you know, it's, it, it's hard. You definitely feel more pressure, I think, doing that, having a breakup here, as opposed to if I was in the UK and this had happened, maybe perhaps it wouldn't have felt as intense. Um, but sometimes you have to make a decision for the greater good. You know, I feel like in terms of like mental health and just being able to move forward with your life, you have to make certain things just kind of happen. So yeah, so that's pretty much where I am at the moment. It's not the easiest thing that I've ever had to do. Um, there's still probably a bit of raw emotion happening, but it's okay, I'm good guys. So I just wanna say thank you to those of you that have supported me all the way through. I'm still gonna to continue to make videos and continue to share with you guys, but now you don't need to ask me any more questions because now you know, yeah, we're not together. Um, I definitely did not envision this 
Um, so for some of you, I know it may be a bit of a shock. I'm sure some of you have probably had your kind of inclinations um, as to what was going on. It's just one of those things that happens. And like I say, life sometimes does just happen. You know, we're working towards becoming um, amicable, especially for the sake of the children and stuff like that. But you know, human beings are human beings, right? We come with a lot of baggage. Um, I'm not saying on my on, on both parts we come with a lot of baggage. Any individual has baggage, right? Because we all have our own separate life experiences. So when you get married, you know, you're two individual people and you get married and you try to join, but you still have your individual backgrounds. And so sometimes it can be hard to sort of join that. And so things can, and also, you know, people change. That's just how it is, you know. So um, yeah, I hope you guys understand the place that I'm coming from. So I really wanted to share with that with you guys for you to understand what's happening. Like I said before, it's not just about showing all the great things that happened, it's also about showing real life, you know, and I like to think that um, I'm a fairly honest and open person, so I thought I would do this video to share with you. Um, yeah, so going forward, um, I'm just now in a phase where I'm sort of discovering myself as being a single person. Um, I am trying to find my feet um, in regards to a lot of things, you know, it's, it's a different, like being single is totally different um, in terms of finding out how things work and, you know, things that perhaps maybe I wasn't used to doing now I'm having to do. So yeah, it's a new life. Um, we move, we move, you know, so yeah, that's what I want to share with you guys. So feel free to say what you have to say in the comment section. Um, I'm pretty open. Obviously, just be respectful in what you're saying. I, as I said at the beginning, I am a real person with real feelings and all the rest of it. But yeah, I just really wanted to share that with you guys. So I can say honestly, wholeheartedly right now, I'm pretty much at peace with the decision. Like I said, it's been a few months. So yeah, so that's it. That's where we are right now. Um, yeah, I'm sorry if it's too much of a shock for you guys, but it is what it is. Life happens. So that's it so guys stay tuned look out for the next video